The only sign language I know is. I thought the only sign language you know is this. That's true. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex up. I'm Corbin. I'm you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow us on our official Twitter account, subscribe, and hit the like button. And if you were following us on Instagram and Twitter, uh, you'd know that we uh, have been going to the Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles. Indeed. Uh, and this is one of the films that premiered uh, its world premiere. Uh, it was at the uh, Indian Film Festival of Los Angeles, the 2023 film Berlin. Um, and uh, it's directed by Atul. Um, yeah, the pronunciation, I'm going to guess along with you properly, uh, is is uh, Atul Sabarwal. Who is also the writer of it. Correct. Uh, and it was. Uh, it's also starring... Um, Rahul Bose, mm -hmm. uh, Ishwak, Ishwak, right? Ishwak? Yeah, Ishwak Singh. Yeah, Ishwak Singh. Uh, uh, Upper Shakti. Oh, uh, Upper Shakti. That's a difficult yeah. one for me. Yeah. Uh, Ayushman's brother. Um, and and so it's a um, it's described on IMDb as a thriller. Um, it's a uh, a very independent. I don't even know if it's indie. Uh, cause like, I don't know what these films are considered, you know, when they go to film festivals, if, uh, if they didn't have, it's, it says Z, but I don't mm -hmm. know if that was just, they bought the rights to it or if it was a Z production, you know? Right. Right. Do you? Do you? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. But anyways, uh, we, we saw this because, uh, of I, Ifla, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Uh, and so we are reviewing it right now. We don't know when it comes out. Uh, like when its actual theatrical release will be. So this is going to be right now a 100% non-spoiler review. There will be no spoiler section, at least currently, because we don't want this to come out right now and then it comes out in February and people have just w seen the spoiler review and seen the spoils of the film way before its release. I don't want that to happen. Um, and so this is going to be 100% non-spoiler review um so sorry if it when it comes out you're wanting spoilers uh currently maybe we'll do it you can let us know if you want that then um there's plenty of other people that review movies and put spoilers in the reviews for you to go find if that's, that's what true. floats that's your boat <laughs> uh but anyway so we'll just get into this uh rick what are your non-spoiler thoughts of berlin well since this qualifies as a review and i've yet to do it that's true. Sorry. Um, yeah. I'm very interested to see what you think, because as far as I'm concerned, I could have written a paragraph about this. And for those of you who've been around a while, you know what that means. If I have a paragraph to write, it means I have a lot of nothing but good to say. I, I found this film to be superlative in every facet of filmmaking. I found this to be the embodiment of what it means for a thriller to be taught, T-A-U-H-T. T-A-U-G-H-T. I found the performances to be utterly exemplary at every turn. The casting is impeccable. Every frame of film complements every page of script dialogue in ways that do not speak down to the audience, but assume we have high intelligence. I couldn't be happier with this movie, and I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite films I've seen in a really long time. I, uh, I also really, really enjoyed it. I thought this was a super interesting film because being a thriller, you, you'd think, you know, high stakes, like adrenaline. It's not that type of thriller. Uh, so don't go in expecting that. It is I, it is thrilling. I actually I, it is a thrilling film, but not in the action thriller style. Um, more of the the storyline is thrilling. But it's performance driven, uh, is, is is what I would describe as a this good as. thriller should be. If you've seen, if you've seen any of Hitchcock's thrillers, mm. if you've seen any of Humphrey Bogart's thrillers, this is in the same vein. Yes, um, 
And I thought there was a lot of really interesting choices uh, in goodness. this. Um, one in particular um, that uh, I don't know if it's a spoiler, but uh, I'll just ask you if you think it is the sound. I think we should just say this. Um, because that was two, an two interesting things, choice. Yeah, Two things about the sound design. Um, I, number one. Sound is as important a character in the storytelling as any element of the storytelling. And I found the entire sound design to have been so good that if this were a film released here, I would have been jumping up and down saying, nominate this thing for sound design, editing and mixing the whole nine yards. Cause it's everything that's best about sound design. When you talk about not complexity, like the, big say the marvel or the star wars films this is this is minutia that is inseparable from the storytelling and it's it's not a spoiler because i believe the uh there's a teaser on on youtube that was i think put out by ifla for this film and so our 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 main star he i don't know if you could call him main star but a one of the stars uh mm -hmm. upper shakti yeah is a sign language expert, um, and that is in the the teaser. So it's not it's not a spoiler, right? And this I'm pretty a... sure I'm, I'm pretty sure it's ISL, not ASL. It's Indian sign language. Okay, yeah, because it, it we yeah. have figured it. I think when Black came out, we read that with Ashley. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we figured out that the actual sign because I in my dumb head thought sign language is a universal thing. I thought that makes sense in my head that it would be this universal language, but it's not. Everybody it's not. has their it, it own... varies country to country dialect and also like difference in in how they do it yeah. um and it was because i think we figured that out in black um it, she said there are some similarities but there it's also very different in in others yes. um but so this has a ton to do with the the sign with that, language with that yes without giving anything else away um and i would love to talk obviously to the to the cast here because one did they know this before? Like, is that one of the reasons they were intrigued because yeah, of yeah. that element of it? And if not, how long did it take them? Because if I was doing this role, as I believe you would, I would literally sit down for at minimum months. Yeah, that's that's the question I would have for, the, for them be would be fluent. how immersive. Yeah. How immersive was it for them in order for them to reach a place of comfortability and believability with these characters? Because because the believability factor in this is flawless frame to frame. Yeah, with with everybody, and we'll get into the performances in just a second. But just right off the bat, I, this is—I mean, you've got to be so proud at the finished product if if you're the one who wrote and directed this. I just a tool, and, yeah. and, and and yeah, and to be a part of this thing, I just I found everything about this to be just—it was a constant, non-stop appreciation for me I, I can't tell you how many times i said oh beautiful oh brilliant oh that was so good and then things that would be things it's the kind of movie where you've got to pay attention you don't want to take your eyes off the screen there's a lot of times when i'm watching a film there's kind of a lag or there's a moment where i put a quick note on my phone or speak a note on my phone so i don't forget something this was one of those films where i didn't want to I, there's so much is going on and so many little things are being said and little things are being shown that I never wanted to take my eyes off the screen. Yeah, absolutely. A uh, tool did a, a very good job. And, um, his, like I said, his choices in this were super interesting. Yeah. Um, the, like the sound in particular, I, I would love to know. Uh, I can't give any, I can't say anything because it would, I think it would give away an element. Um, but, I thought he did a, a really good job. The performances I we've seen. Let's talk about Upper Shakti, right? Upper Shakti. Right? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Oh. I I'm gonna. I it's a difficult name AK. for me too. <laughs> AK is it A? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if he goes by. Um, we've seen him a few times. Obviously, uh, most recently, I mean, just this year, uh, we saw him in um, Jubilee, a yep. brilliant performance in Jubilee. Uh, yep, that a wonderful that, actor. that character arc in Jubilee was was crazy and also so different from this. 
Uh, and also Shri and um, uh, the the other one that's in the same universe that we saw him at the the end of it. Um, he's a very versatile actor. Um, and his performance in this was another really interesting arc uh, in this film as well that I didn't know where they were going to go with it. And I was like, I, is, is something else going on here? Um, and I thought he, he did a, I believed every second he was on screen. Uh, yes, I did. and, and I loved every second because he has great screen presence, uh, held his own with Rahul Bose and, um, Oof. and I I Ishwak. Um, I, I loved his performance. I did too. I, it's a test. What I'm about to say is a testament and literally a Bravo standing ovation ovation to both the writing directing and the performances of the actors in that they were able to make me empathize with everyone while I simultaneously distrusted everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's extraordinarily difficult to do. Yeah. And I'm talking, you, you feel that way for pretty much the totality of the film. And, and, and there are some moments that are as good of one-on-one -on -one talking with actors and listening that are so riveting, so believable. Um, the use or not use of score. Yeah. I, I It is, and I thought over and over again how maybe you could somehow shrink this to a small setting and turn this into a play because it is so theatrical, so thespianatic. And I just, I wanted a big, big shout out i wrote down the name of the cd the casting director is is mayan kawa who was a, a casting associate on a lot of really big projects like good projects like Luda plin job and some others uh mayan kawa and the entire team you know i don't know how many people in the cast were auditioned versus were pitched it doesn't matter because i felt like everyone large and small was uniformly I would nominate him for a SAG award for, for ensemble. Cause I thought the whole cast was just fantastic. Absolutely. Um, and the, uh, uh, I thought as a, um, actor, there'd be a lot of easy things. I mean, I'm sure like, obviously they probably didn't get paid very much for this to, you know, it's a probably a very small budget. Right. So yeah. as an I, actor, it was just cares? like, I, I want to be in this because of the <laughs> yes. one. Yes. This is going to be all about me and my other actors here. Um, and I like there's just like intimate scenes with just you and the other actor where you just get to to be together and perform and react with each other. Uh, it's magic. It's, it's a it's an actor's dream. This this style of film uh, because magic, it's all yeah. it's all on. And it also it could fail miserably if you're if you don't have good actors there as well. Uh, with oh, it. A, it absolutely would be a horrific nightmare without the caliber of actors that are in this cast. Yeah, because like it, it's reliant. I mean, obviously the director has to do his job, but it's reliant on these performances, uh, and and for you to believe them. Uh, yep. And I, uh, I thought um, he did a a, a very uh, upper shakti, I believe is uh, once again. Yeah, uh, I'm never going to be confident in saying that. Um, but also um, his. Co-actor Ishwak. Ishwak, who we've seen in uh, recently Rocket Boys, and Correct. what was the what was the it was another series, right? We saw him in, right? Uh, um, I th he's been in a couple series we've seen. Patal Lock, it was, was Patal Lock. Lock, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's and, another one he was in that we saw. Was he in a series? Um, yeah. Oh, Made in Heaven. Yeah. Made so, in yeah, Heaven. We, it was yeah. Made in Heaven, Rocket Boys, and Patal Lock. We've seen him. Yeah. Done a lot of OTT we've seen work. A lot and, of his work. Uh, we, he was in Tamasha and Al, Al, Al Algira, uh, but I yep. think he was much uh, more smaller roles in those. Um, and so I think he's really coming to, into his own as an actor. Uh, but he's also like just in Rocket Boys with with Jim, right? God, yeah. this is such a different character. Than, it and, really is. And his is like if I had to pick a role, and obviously, let's say age is is no factor here. So, because obviously, sure, certain sure. roles you would obviously be much better for at your current age right. than I would be, in, and vice versa. But Correct. irrespective of that, I think his role is probably the one I, I I'd want to play the most. Sure. Uh, just because there's a it's it's a challenge his role. 
<laughs> it is a I huge have, challenge. I, I can't like um and I don't know what this is spoiler here or not, you know, but he has to do things where you have to believe this is who this man is, right? Yes. Uh and that's it could come off really bad and cliche and like you're just doing a a bad performance uh if if you don't do your research if you don't actually believe it yourself and uh i thought he did a great great job and it was so different from everything else we've seen of him it's it's my favorite thing i've seen him do uh yeah it, and and every time we got back to a place no spoiler but you come back to places consistently where the two leads in this Ash ishwak and upper shakti are interacting with one another mm -hmm. guys just put up your legs and grab the popcorn those are my favorite parts back, of the film sit back and watch it's as good as anything you got to see jodie foster and sir anthony hopkins do in uh the silence of the lambs uh, where yeah. you're just Similar, you're yeah. riveted you're riveted to you're not just riveted to what they're saying. You're riveted to every thought. You're riveted to every facial movement. You're riveted to anything their eyes are doing. You're riveted. It's there's no other word for it. It's their their work together and throughout is just riveting. It is, uh, and it, it, was, it was so fun to watch. Like I said, like as actors, that's what you want. You want these lengthy, meaty scenes with also just interesting characters. Uh, yes. interesting dynamics going on and also the ALS or uh, I L I L S. Yeah. I L S. I S L. Sorry. You said the yeah, ILS. ILS, sorry. Indian sign language. I S L. Um, <laughs> element B, which you like, there's no way they just didn't. I feel like you can't even do months. It has to be like a year of, if you didn't already know it, maybe they already uh, have known right. it. Obviously. Right. I don't know. Um, but if they didn't, like me, I don't know it at all. I would want at minimum a year of of. I'd want to be fluent. I'd want to be fluent. Yeah, I don't want to just learn my lines. I because I, I would like, I'd want to be able to improv or like react in certain ways that a that a that a deaf person would as much would as react. I possibly could. I agree as much as I possibly could, and I, I would, would also want to be. I, I would want to spend time with the deaf community. Absolutely. And I'm sure yeah. they did. Um, yeah. Most good actors will do that, that kind of prep yeah. work. I'm hoping they had it because obviously, like I said, I'm sure this was a small budget production. Um, and so I'm sure they didn't like have big studio funding to go do yeah. what they needed to do. But I'm sure they did it uh, regardless, because, boy, I would love to know an actual deaf bird like the, that speaks Indian Sign Language, um, their opinion of their performance, because obviously they're the ones Absolutely. that are going to know much better than than us. Sure. Sure. But just based off of my idiot looking, it I was a hundred percent convinced that I, as uh, was I. They were part of the community. Uh yeah, never doubted it for a minute. Uh so hats off uh, to them. Uh go on. I was just gonna say, I would like to, because I know you were probably about to do this anyway. Maybe the bulk of you watching know this about Raul Bose already, <laughs> but if anyone ever wanted to see whether or not this man is a theater actor and is a thespian of the highest order watch this film this is my favorite performance of his as well i even found at, him to be even sorry go on go on no 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 even what uh but like his like dual performance in bull bull was wonderful yeah because that's such a absolutely wonderful. interesting I, and i agree he had a great performance it, in this. interesting but i I just found a, a part of, and this is what's so wonderful about working with other great actors. Part of the reason it's so good is because he's consistently being put opposite of and separate from the two other actors we were just talking about who are as elevated as, elevative as it comes. So when you have a third basically lead in the story, as it were, it would be really really easy for there to be a fall off where you're watching this one actor and you're wishing you were watching the other actor. That happens many times in a film where there's one or two actors killing and, and you just want to get back to them versus an entire ensemble being strong. So that that's why there wasn't a weak link. Everybody was at the top of their game. This is This is like, for lack of a better analogy for me, this is like watching Indian cricket 
just decimate and have one of those games where afterwards they're talking about we were just feeling it or an NBA team where they're just hitting every bucket, Michael Jordan hitting all the threes and he turns to the desk and goes, <laughs> yeah. we're just, we're in the zone. Uh, he was in the zone. And uh, is that also because you could definitely see yourself in that role as well? Yeah. That, but was, that I, was, that was, that was a you role if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Age wise, obviously it fits very well. It's interesting because many people have asked me that it's like, what, what kind of, what role do you wish you had? Well, when I see someone doing it as good as I think it can be done, I don't want to be in that role. I, yeah. I, I would have liked to have had a part in this film and worked with Absolutely. everybody. Maybe yeah, for another, sure. Another, another part. Uh, I, I don't want anyone else in these roles. The, these roles were done exactly how they should be done. No one else should have portrayed these characters. It's as good as they they, they could have been done. Yeah, Rahul Bose, I thought did a, and he, he he's such a, a good actor because we've seen him many, and I actually don't think. From what I've heard, we've actually seen his best performance I mean, outside of oh, obviously sure. this coming out. Uh, because yeah. there's films like uh The Japanese Wife, um, Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Iyer. Those are some of the performances that I know people often refer to him as his standout performance. Sure. But sure. even the it's stuff we've seen of him, and we've seen a, a bit, right? Uh yeah. he's he's always so good. Uh, and is he a theater actor? Did you look it up? Is he? He is. I looked yeah, it up. Yeah, that's no. What's that's intriguing no shock. to me? That's no shock. Yeah. What's it, what's intriguing to me is both he and Ishwak come from theater background, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, Upper Shakti, at least wherever I looked online, he just went straight to set. I, I, I don't see any particular training or theater experience prior to actually working in film. Which, if that's Ayushman's, the case, Ayushman's brother, yeah. Uh, Okay, gotcha. Yeah, if that's uh, the case, <laughs> and he he, <laughs> I know I say these every single time, but God, and I maybe you guys were weren't as familiar with this actor, but like I grew up watching Knight's Tale a ton, one of my favorite movies ever. Like in terms, of, it's just yeah. a comfort movie. There's an actor, he's in he's in a ton of films. You've seen a multiple of his films. His name's Rufus Swell, I think it's Swell. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good Lord, does Rahul Bose look like the Indian version? Of he does. Every, he does. And you guys, I, I, you I can't guys get it out of my mind. More than you, he really does. They Thanks. need no, to play, they you've need to play to brothers. Me. I swear to you, they need to play brothers <laughs> because one, it would be, they're both really, really talented actors. Like, Ro agreed. Uh, Rufius Swell is a very, very good actor. He's always very good actor. Usually supporting in 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 Hollywood films and has for a long time, and usually knocks it out of the park. But every single time I see Rahul Bose, I can't see anything. Yeah, other than if, uh, Rufus. if you want to see a, if you want to see a good Rufus movie where he plays a supporting role, uh, do yourself a favor and watch The Illusionist. It's a really oh yeah yeah movie. he does a great he does a great, he does a great job in The Illusionist. Uh, also, didn't uh, Rahul Bose look like he it looked like he bulked up in this right? Like he looked like he did. I don't know if it was for this role or if he was doing a different role where he had to had to bulk up, but he, he looked different than I than I'd seen him before. He looked really like built in this. Yeah, he did. He did. Uh, he gave off this intimidation, but also in certain scenes, he gave off also like um, just I don't want to give anything away, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Different vibes. Uh, yeah. And I thought he did. He's he's always great in, in every role that we like the Bull Bull, which is such a since he had the two, the dual roles, especially the the, the brother that had a mental illness. Uh, did such a good job in that one. Um, but yeah, every even the supporting cast in this were all really, really good. I was waiting for one bad apple, and I, they didn't come. Um, like I was waiting for a, a, you, a white guy to to show up. Did you get scared? This is not a this is not a spoiler, but I just want to say, did you get scared in the art museum? Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah, I did. did. <laughs> uh, I was I was I was really scared they were gonna something, something was, was like, gonna oh, happen. No, I get yeah. PTSD, man. Yeah, but. Oh. Uh, I thought the uh, the pay it's it's just under two hours. I think just a few minutes under oh, two hours, which um, is incredible. It, and so, like if like I said, don't go in expecting action or anything like that because that's not the style of film. This is a performance thriller. Um, so go in expecting that. Um, and because if you're going if you go in expecting that, you're gonna have a you're gonna enjoy yourself. If you like watching actors do a, an amazing job. 
it's a page turner. I think I, I don't know how you couldn't sit down and watch this and feel like each page is turning and the same feeling you get when you're reading a great book, you don't want to stop. You just can't wait to get to the next page. And this is one that's also very um, palatable for Western uh, audiences. Like this would do well in a, like, like I said, I don't know when this is coming out. I don't know if this was even be on the, the radar for like Oscars, but in terms of like films that are high elevative artistry and also palatable uh, for Western audiences, this would be a good submission just in yeah. and of itself. And there's also really strong and important messaging that we can't share right here because to do so gives away so much of the story, but it, it, it does have some very interesting questions and a couple of fingers to point at things that fall in the realm of government's espionage. Mm -hmm. Who's really your enemy um, exactly. It, it's it's very very intelligent. And this is set in the um, I think the eighties, right? Is is when it was no ninety three, ninety three, nineteen ninety three. Yep. Uh, is Which this one was speaking set. of that, real shout out to the whole production design because that could be easily missed. That everything about this was flawless in terms of the 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 setting of nineteen ninety three, costuming, set design, props, and continuity did an amazing job. Yeah, as, as well yeah. did. Um, so hats off to a tool for for making a, a really good film um, that is it, it's not easy to keep people riveted for this long without added elements of uh, other things. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it's a really he, intelligent film. He pulled it off really well. So whenever this does come out, uh, please go support it uh, at your local theater or festival please. if it's coming anywhere. Uh, I don't know what the the run of this. We got to see it before everybody else. Um, and so thank Please you to, thank you to Ifla, uh, for, for, uh, premiering this here. Yes. Uh, let us, if you have seen it, obviously after this review, let us know what you thought about the film. Um, and, uh, what should be the next Rahul Bose and all these other uh, great actors that we need to watch. Let and us the know. Director. Exactly. Down below. Yeah.